Hey guys, welcome back to the podcast. What up? This is episode seven. seven. Um, it's our Friday episode where we talk about what's going on in these streets. <laughs> yeah. Um, but this Friday's episode is going to be about what's been going on like the past two or three months since we've been absent. Mm-hmm. But after this, it'll be like the past week. Since it's every Friday, it'll be what's been popping in the last week when those times come. But mm-hmm. this one going to be the past two or three months. I think we stopped in like February. Yeah. Maybe mid-February or something like that. So... Like the beginning of so it. So this is like the top five major things. It's actually six things that are on the board. It's actually five things, but the sixth thing is like the sixth thing is new releases. So it's gonna be like music, TV shows, mm-hmm. and um, movies that came out in that time span. So I just grouped all of them into one. So it's five things, and then the new releases that we missed. The five things, Ukraine. You ain't got to list them all. Don't list them all. Let's just have it as we go. Okay, okay. That sounds good. <laughs> I mean, okay, Ukraine okay. is number one. <laughs> Ukraine is number one, though. Uh, that was something that happened, what was it, in March? Yeah, in the beginning of March. Um, that thing popped off on the ass. I mean, but it was like a build-up. It wasn't just like we yeah, looked on the thing. Yeah, it wasn't a build-up. It kind of like coronavirus where it was like a build-up, and then this is like the set day they say the pandemic started. But that's how Ukraine it was. It was like, you know, the tensions of like um, Ukraine talking about some, we trying to get in on that, you know, the UN shit. But it was kind of like... I feel like it was maybe like a week or two build, like a two week build up on social media at least. I mean, obviously, longer in real life, but that's why I'm like it was kind of just like we were getting like little tidbits, like you know Russia's, you know pulling up to the borders. Yeah. Um, you know they're kind of like they may, may they may try and invade. We don't know, but it was like all of that, and then the talks weren't going good, going good, and then like it was weird. It was like they announced they were gonna announce the exact day they via like the news, yeah, they the journalist the exact day that they was going via like invade. the journalist that like I was seeing like two days before. It was but, like yeah, Russia plans to um, invade on this date at this this specific time was, and start doing this at this time. It's like I guess that's what you do with. Wars now? What is it? Just like a nah. Bro. It just felt the weird. script is in. That shit ain't no real. If it, if it's real war, nigga, ain't gonna I was let like, you wouldn't know it be like I'm a coming? surprise? Like, why would they announce when they're gonna um invade? But it seems that kind of like wild. counteractive. I didn't really take it serious all the way up until maybe when they dropped the date. Then I was like, okay, let me pay attention to the date. Like, oh, let me see what happens. I mean, I but started taking it serious once that, they started pulling up to the borders. I mean, we done seen shit. We, but I mean, they was tension in the world. But bro. Russia niggas said, like, they shit. said hella niggas I mean, over there. Yeah, that was kind of like I just okay. be ready for it to pop off. Don't goddamn. It's like <laughs> it's like niggas be pulling out the gun, but don't use it. So do Russia do that? Russia usually, if they gonna pull up, they gonna execute. They not execute. In they're in the U.S. of America. I'm talking about where they're at. <laughs> I'm talking not. about over there. So that's why I'm saying. Sa- yeah, I guess. So as soon as when so I, niggas. that made me think like, yeah, they definitely probably about to, I don't see this, you know, like Ukraine's not backing down on, they're not going to be like, you know what, we're not going to do the U.N. shit. Like, yeah. he, that guy don't seem like he's on that whole shit, clearly. The president. You talking about Vladimir? No, I'm talking about the president of Ukraine. Oh. He's not, he's not backing down at all. That nigga was in the video with the, um, it was like his military person. I mean, his security personnel. They was in the video like we will not give. A, they was they was on a um, what's buddy name from Treyway? We don't fit. We don't bend. We don't fold. Don't <laughs> he was on that flow basically. Like mm-hmm. nigga, we we here. We in the we in the city. Basically, like, we um, out here with y'all. It was dark. It wasn't no lights. That shit wasn't no setup. Like it looked like it was like recorded to, on like yeah, a, phone, a phone like. And he we was goddamn are. basically like we posted up shop, but 
Russia really played themselves. Those niggas always be playing themselves because now when the major countries, of course the small countries still like this Russia, they'll beat our ass. But the major countries, we see that Russia is hurt militarily. Like they not they cannot see us. They went over there to Ukraine. Granted, we the UN got damn supplying them goods and shit. And <laughs> Um, U.S. is sending like it's kind of like a shell yeah they I mean that's all that's what always all happens but are. it's like a it's like a stalemate almost because either neither side wants to do something that's going to progress the situation to the next step and the next step after just this little squabble between neighboring countries the next step is war war basically because yeah. if Russia does anything to any of these countries. All the all of these countries in the in NATO, not the UN. NATO. Yeah, I'm like UN uh, incorrect. NATO, my bad. You had said the UN earlier. I had said the UN, said. and I was like, this but, doesn't um, seem right, but I'm gonna keep <laughs> going with it. But yeah, if Russia attack one of them niggas, then now all of them are in the war. So it's like, By and default. and and neither and none of none of the um, NATO nations want to do anything because it kind of makes it like you're forcing everybody to do something so it's like a stalemate really. yeah but they Russia really... should have ran like imagine if we got damn ran into Canada we running through them like that's how Russia to Ukraine should have been that's what I, we all thought but was gonna happen but it seems like, by, like they still kind of in the same place bro. They struggling. At so. one point, well, last week they were talking about how like, oh, they gonna, they've reached some sort of agreement. But then I was seeing something this week that was like, no, because they still over there like bombing, know, and bombing like Kiev and shit. That shit remind me of um, the early two thousands when we was in Iraq. It was like, mm-hmm. it was a big. That shit was bigger though, because I guess we was in it, so it felt bigger. It felt bigger, I guess, but. Um, it was like every day they were just over there bombing. Yeah, and just it, it kind of go to the back of your head. You don't even be realizing because it, it don't be like major, major news after yeah. like the first two weeks. Other shit is going but on now. That's like, pretty much what it's gonna be. But Russia played themselves because now nobody's taking nobody from the China, USA, well China and NATO. They all see Russia's weakness because Russia borders China, so. If they can't run into Ukraine and do what needs uh-huh, to be done, um, China was. Uh, I mean, China it's it's, all, it's like a it's like a love hate relationship basically. Like mm-hmm. um, we'll be watching Godfather of Harlem, how all the mob <laughs> families kind of like they trying to do, they trying to one up each other, but at the same time they got respect for each other or whatever. Mm-hmm. Blah blah blah. It's kind of like that. Like China not homies with Russia, but. On a on there are certain things that they fuck with with Russia that basically the U.S. is on the opposing side, and then there's certain things they fuck with the U.S. but Russia is on the opposing side. It's like them the three big dogs, so it's mm-hmm. like they trying to all make power moves to goddamn be the big dog. We slick the big dog, but they've been closing the gap basically. Mm-hmm. So they they goddamn. But Russia like struggle. Russia holding on to its big dog status right now. It's the water from upstairs. Oh, that shit was ugly. <laughs> what did I you was like, think? What the fuck is that? Because I got the headphones on, so it sounded um, low. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck going on, bro? <laughs> um, um. But yeah, we are the big dogs, but they closing the gap. And for a while, it seemed like Russia was above China, like the Cold War. We was the big dog. Russia got down. That, the, the, we was two big dogs at that point, basically. And Russia and us basically stalemated. But we so far ahead from that. If you looked at their equipment and their tanks and shit, that shit looked like the Cold War equipment. It wasn't even like our shit. <laughs> so oh, they, they struggling right now. But... I guess we'll see how that goes. It was, it wasn't outrageous, but 
it wasn't outrageous because Russia want Ukraine, but it, it was just, like, it was just outrageous in the fact that I don't know why Russia tried that shit. Yeah, and wasn't ready. yeah, <laughs> that's really what it was. It's like okay, we're not surprised that you want to do this. We're surprised that like you actually did. You're it. actually doing it, so we'll see how that goes. But they 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 they, they finna be hurt because it's like Germany. Once we they, put all them sanctions on, once NATO yeah. and all, and even China put sanctions on they're them. They're like now they cut them. off from like the world. Like I mean, it's, it's kind of like, like Germany. At that point, nigga, it's it's just we just we just strangling you. It's like now, yeah, it's like just bleeding these niggas. <laughs> yeah, from like so it ain't gonna money, last for so much longer. They resources, it's like as long as it don't go to the next level, everything it'll be like just another squabble in the world. But if it goes to the next level, which it could easily. It could like, all if it they takes feel is desperate. <laughs> <laughs> all it takes is Russia accidentally sinking a, a, a American cargo ship. And they were already and saying they, it was a lot of like accidental shit already going on over there. Yeah. I had seen some random posts about like military dolphins. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me though. I mean, I would expect that actually, but not from them necessarily, but from they, us. They like release some. Like we both have them, but they have released some military dolphins, like in like a the Gulf area or some shit. That shit is supposed to be. I'm, they probably using them some somehow for sonar, because I know dolphins be fire as hell with that shit. Yeah. Like and they um I don't know I hope they can't communicate with them <laughs> like God damn but I mean that's next level shit right there I mean <laughs> but, I mean maybe they got how some else way do you of train these damn dolphins like you gotta communicate with them I'm saying like yeah you can communicate with the dolphin but it's different when the communi- the dolphin can communicate with you and you understand what the dolphin is saying that's oh like with their level. noises yeah like, well that's, that's like fucking weird as level. hell that's like that fucking movie I arrival know, where bro. these niggas might I don't think they, I don't <laughs> think they got to that point yet but they would I'm have to teach sure them how to if they already doing this if they ain't got there, they trying to get there, nigga. I mean, they, they probably have to teach them, like, how to, you know, you teach a dog your English or any language. They yeah. understand you. And so then they can, like, learn how to. Have you seen they, those things where, like, you can teach a dog, like, the steps of, like, how a word sounds and they can actually talk to you? Like, they'll step on shit like, I want to eat. Like, they know what this sounds. Out. And, like, the <laughs> when it comes out in words, that shit is weird as hell. I ain't seen it though, but that shit wow. But I mean, technology on a whole new level, bro. So it wouldn't surprise me these niggas using dolphins. So Russia using dolphins. Both we don't of us, need. We have dolphins as well. Oh, well, we but Russia released. just released theirs into the. So how you know what you was looking at that said we got dolphins? <laughs> <laughs> it was saying that like they released the dolphins. Um, and that I guess we were also gonna like throw ours in there. The but I don't know how like accurate I choose you, nigga. I don't know how accurate I mean, that article news source is. But you saw that on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a bet. <laughs> I got you. That's why I said I can't okay, confirm you know, accuracy. That was of an that. interesting story. <laughs> <laughs> that brought some entertainment. <laughs> so but they really might have military I mean, they dolphins. Might. That's why I said it wouldn't surprise me if they do, because I mean, this is 2022, dog. It's 2022. Yeah. Like, our technology is stupid. We might not see it in our everyday, but if you really paid attention to it, you would see it in our everyday. But we might not be privy to it in our everyday life. Like, almost mm-hmm. like taking it for granted but our technology is stupid all you gotta do is look at the military them boys going dumb over there boys. I like when I see goddamn new military shit I be like damn <laughs> these niggas this shit like a video game Wait, yeah man, that's video why the niggas be ready to go to war thinking they ain't playing them fucking uh, wild, Call of Duty negative <laughs> I hate Call of Duty I, wa- I like watching other niggas play Call of Duty but I hate Call of Duty man mm-hmm. I do not play except for zombies. I fuck with that, but I, I don't be playing against like niggas. Niggas be moving too fast, bro. And niggas, most niggas' eyes is trained to see like where shit is on the maps. It's mm-hmm. too much going on. Mm-hmm. Like de- you gotta have your depth perception, perception right, and all of that. I don't be fucking with it. But <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Uh, so that was pretty much Ukraine yeah. in a nutshell. That shit was. 
interesting. Still, I mean, it's still interesting, but it's just. I mean, died it's still down. going on. You know how. I don't think it's died is. down over there, but like nah, yeah, in terms yeah. of like terms of them the reporting news, on it yeah. as much as not as um. Prominent. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, it ends reasonably. I hope so, because if it ends poorly, then we all out of shit out of luck. So. No, y'all niggas out of luck. We over here is going to be somewhere okay, I promise you. You that. heard all them threats Russia was making, like, the, if we feel desperate I enough, we going to end this fucking world. I promise <laughs> Basically. You. I promise you, the way they looking, how slow they technology looking. I mean, but they got gonna nukes. We going to knock all they shit out the air with you think our so? air defense. And we gonna rock them niggas. And it's gonna be bad. I know, but I'm thinking of... I don't think nobody about that life except for Kim Jong. What if he, like, hopped on? I bet you he already probably chatting with fucking Russia. Telling but them, he gotta what's, know. I feel let like, me know what you want to do. I feel do. like he about that life in the aspect of mm-hmm. he just hate the West so much. But he not about that life in the aspect of he got pride in his culture and his... Like he's not trying to like Yeah Maybe he But he might be, be on right some fucking uh, Jim I Jones shit you. Bro I promise We all going If I gotta no. go We all going I mean we unit. gonna go Obviously because we're The regular citizens here But our country is gonna continue <laughs> Them niggas got the contingency plans Like everybody ain't gonna make it I promise you that But it's gonna be We saw the uh, show um, Designated Survivor that was like Somewhere. that was like low budget um, end of the world shit like mm-hmm. everybody done died type shit that was low budget I mean there's so many like, of those shows we got goddamn movies. bases military bases in these mountains and shit some niggas don't survive well, I mean of course some people are going to survive Co- but Korea is not gonna be <laughs> no niggas survive <laughs> that's okay. what I'm saying like okay. it's obliterated bruh do you know how many bruh <laughs> You know how many nukes we got? I mean, I know. But like, we they got too long on this topic now. It's 20 minutes. Damn, for real? Yeah. <laughs> so we do need to 17. move on. Especially right. we have each an hour. We can talk about nukes another time. <laughs> All right. I Don't you 20. agree? Yeah, I guess so. Even though it ain't at 20. It's, at it's about to be 20. 17, but... Okay, so I'll you want to get to 20? No, Go ahead. No, tell, talk about your... I ain't going to talk about the Dukes. I would teach y'all about the Nukes, the comparisons in these countries another day. We probably... Ukraine going to probably come up again, and i I hop on it in. Mm-hmm. Why you trying... She trying to play me, dog. How am I trying to play you? Come on, now, dog. I know what the new ratio is. I've... Watched a thousand fucking videos with you, so. Um, <laughs> why aren't we going in order? I feel like we're jumping around with no. what the next thing we're supposed to talk about. Because that's like what you said. I guess. I mean, so what was what I've did you like say? Either Kanye or. So the Ryan. other one. Yeah. Which was mine. Um. So. The whole Ryan Coogler racial profiling, basically. Is it really racial profiling? Or is it just. I mean, it's strange? always a question. Oh, well, I mean, it was. It was that. But it was like more of like. But it's weird. I can't Stereotype, say I guess. I, I don't think shit. it was. I don't think it was racial profiling because the the lady was black. Yeah, that's so, why I was saying. Is it racial profiling or was she just being even like if here the lady was nigga. white? If, if, that's where I was saying. I have remembered that the lady was black, but even yeah. if the lady was white, it's still not a guarantee that it was racial profile because of the reason that the black lady did it. Yeah, I think it was just so she was she just, just like why scary is this nigga? trying to be a yeah. super a super important. It was. It was just weird, but like, it was it was weird. Caring too much to me. Too much, and also like, just like care. she was being you rob stupid. The bank? Rob them, <laughs> I don't care, bro. Like I, I don't care enough to be like I gotta call twelve. Like, um, honestly, especially if you're doing it like this, it would be different if it was like you came in, put a gun to a nigga head, but you just trying to do it discreetly. And then as soon as you leave, I'm gonna tell my boss, I'm, and then you could just be like, I just felt scared. Get this nigga out your face, because what if it went bad? What if it was a robber? I mean, honestly, she just 
was stupid as hell. Like, listening to the 911 call, it was... Ridiculous. It was goofy as hell. It was like, even the dispatcher was like, is he threatening you? Is he pulling then a gun? Then he showed his ID. He showed his ID. He said the reason why and he was like i will wait here you know while you you know whatever like yeah. and then he put in his debit card it was just too many things <laughs> for you to like i wouldn't automatically right. jump to oh this nigga is trying to fucking rob this bank like none of those actions would have you know unless you got and why would you rob a bank for five thousand dollars like if i'm robbing a bank i'm robbing a bank set amount it's gonna be for whatever give me everything y'all got back there basically so it's like you're gonna get the same amount of time so you might as well go big nigga i don't know it was weird she could have even just been like hey could you like you know take off your whatever and whatever the fuck. she didn't even yeah. verify his identity it's like <laughs> she wasn't even trying to see if this nigga was the same person that he was um on the damn id it was maybe just she like, was shook was she i mean lady? clearly she was shook. I, didn't, I didn't get to see, I, think I didn't watch the video was, i don't think we um they show what she looked like uh, but i feel like she sounded like she was like middle-aged or young like it didn't sound like she was like an old lady hmm. But, was middle age like 30 40 yeah like in her like 30s or 40s but i just thought that shit was goofy as hell um and that was like a whole thing on twitter for a few days people were just like because the aftermath is like him outside talking to the police, police yeah. and so at first i was like did the police just roll up and like you know do some shit and then like i saw further on what had actually happened and i was like okay and yeah. on the video, she was like, good job, officer. And then they took him out, like, some shit like that. It was like, what? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, it was She, like, I don't know how to describe it, but I feel like she, like, one of those kind of people that she want a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> she like, want her props or doing yeah, something. Yeah, like, she is like, she <laughs> tried to go above and beyond and try to feel like, yeah, I did my job. And that shit yeah I can't ever be that kind of person but like there are those kind of people out here I, if that was her I mean if that if what I'm describing if yeah. that's what she was actually thinking but I don't know that's the only thing that makes sense to me um or she was just I was asking was she an older lady because maybe she was an older lady and she just saw a younger black man and was like this nigga's dangerous but yeah you could have that prejudice, I guess, even if you the same race, but I don't think that was the case. I think she was just trying to be a super employee, and that was like yeah, I feel like in the first thing that she did, I feel it's also it's her fault, and it's also the manager of the bank's fault because she went and talked to the manager, the manager was like, "Yeah, call the police, so it's like y'all. <laughs> Like, it's one thing for the employee to be, like, just goofy as hell. But, like, for the manager to also be, like, yeah, like, that checks out. Like, you didn't check his identity. Like, he put his debit card in. Go ahead and just call the police. Like, it's just, like, what is the procedure for, like, an actual (laughs) bank robbing? What's the procedure (laughs) when you have a gun to your head? Shout out to set it off. But. (laughs) (laughs) So. Um, that was just kind of that was a weird situation I didn't really dig too deep into it like I said I didn't watch the video I just got damn kind of seen seen the storyline of what ha- occurred and I was just like oh this shit goofy I'm not about to waste mm-hmm. brain cells listening to this bit but <laughs> yeah that shit was crazy mm-hmm. I got damn I mean if I was in that situation I'd be I'd be baffled if I was Ryan Coogler though cause I'd be like damn I thought I did it all right <laughs> like this shit is terrible gotta deal with this bullshit but I wouldn't even be going to the I wouldn't even be going to the bank maybe I don't know it depends on what his situation is do he got a wife do he got kids yeah do he, he has a, a wife and kids yeah so I wouldn't even be going to the bank y'all did <laughs> <laughs> like that's sleep. I'm not going no. Really. I mean, Once you get to that level I wouldn't of fame, go inside. I'd probably go through a drive-through. 
if I had yeah, to go yeah, to the bank. Yeah, yeah. But maybe this bank didn't have a drive through. I don't know what bank this was, but well, and there's yeah. probably a procedure if you're trying to take out that much money that you probably have to go inside, maybe. Uh, so that would be the only reason why you'd have to go to a bank. I wouldn't if you're trying to take out like bank, a good amount of money. It's 2022 again. For what reason? Niggas ain't got a cash app, a Vimo. A, I mean, but a, we don't know what he needs it for. Like, I don't, I'm not in that tax bracket, so I don't could, know what the fuck kind of shit I'm this saying, nigga. Five thousand dollars. Or if he wants cash money, what if he going to the strip club? You can't that's cash the only app thing that strippers. Makes sense. So that's the only thing that makes sense. And maybe but we don't know what he's doing with that, but I feel like also I, I was trying to get. I feel like the bigger thing is that I should be able to fucking utilize this fucking service without being profiled. Of course. So it's like pe- regular people who aren't fucking celebrities go in the bank and withdraw thousands of dollars all the time. But I'm yeah, I'm but I'm saying I wouldn't be going I mean, I know of that, but you're saying I'm just not trying to deal with people period like I mean, well, yeah, but sometimes like you kind of have to do bank shit. <sighs> yeah. You that rich tell the bank teller to come to my house. Let's That's not tea. how that works. Let's have tea. You can get the, the bank t- teller. I mean the bank owner, whoever the <laughs> manager, whoever's in charge of that branch, tell them to pull up on me. Yeah. Let's have a nice little Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if I'm with, you gotta go big or go home. Mm-hmm. Bird to Russia. <laughs> So anyway, um something that was more crazy. <laughs> more crazy. I mean, I feel like it was like equally as just kind of ridiculous the whole Kanye Pete Davidson thing. Well, no, nah, you got to start from before that. Pete okay. Davidson didn't come until like a month in. It was the Kanye and Kim K thing where they was kept going back and forth from oh, social media. Yeah, That's I was, like it was so long. I'm trying to like even remember. Yeah, it started with Kanye and Kim K. Yeah, I mean, because we had been talking about, about media. that. We had talked about them, but I feel like it still lasted a little bit longer. Like the last, I mean, it really happening. never stopped until maybe recently. Once Pete Davidson was in the picture, they wasn't really. That was the big, the bigger Kanye topic. Well, yeah, that was like where it like really kind of escalated when it was like confirmed that, you know. Kim and Pete were like for real together, and because like it was like rumors and shit. I don't see that going anywhere or lasting for a long. This nigga, time. I mean, maybe we wrong though, because this nigga got the damn, this nigga got the damn tattoos of the kids. That was recently that, that we weird. found that out past week or so, but we'll get back to that. Yeah, because <laughs> um, that nigga is ugly. <laughs> um, yeah, they was going um, back and forth. I mean, I think we talked about it a lot, but yeah. just to wrap up in general, I agree with that nigga Kanye in terms of having the kids on social media, all the rest of that shit. I don't know what that nigga was talking about. The yeah, way he was, was doing shit, it was a little bit yeah. too much. It was begging little, for his family, bag, begging for the that. family back, and then also like he was he had made that like song about P. Um, Oh yeah, the video, and the music the video, music video and like and murdering that, that nigga. I mean, oh, and then out. that whole text message that came out thing with. Oh he, yeah, that, that was like old. right before Instagram kicked him off. Um, P had basically texted Kanye talking about some, you know, you need to like leave Kim alone, blah blah blah. I'm like it was just, it was like disrespectful type yeah. shit. Yeah. Um, not it was light. It was definitely it was disrespect. disrespect. And what's crazy is that it was um <laughs> Pete fucking um like from Pete's side, somebody that knew Pete released the picture had posted it first. I guess Pete was sending what the fuck he was that saying lame, to his man. friends and then I, I didn't he know posted that. that. He told his friend to leak it. I don't know if it was told or this nigga was like, I'ma just post the shit, nigga. How did he get it to po- just post the shit? Obviously, he sent it to this nigga. Weak. <laughs> Weak. Anyway, that shit was like, that was kind of wild. Um, and then Kanye obviously didn't have anything nice to, re- I don't even remember his response, but I know that after he had did it that video no, and was saying, saying all that shit about, you know, basically trying to 
put his hands on Pete. Instagram was like, that's bullying. You have to get off. I think he dropped two songs because I think he had the video. I think he had the video where he was acting like he would cat kill Pete and he had his head, allegedly. Um, and then I think he had that song with the game. I thought that was the same song. Was it? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I saw him at two different times. I mean, I heard the song and watched the video at two different times and I only listened to him once. So it might have been the same song. I thought the first one might have been Pusha T, though. But maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, that happened. And, and then now. Yeah, and now. No, did we skip, did we skip something? I mean, I don't think so. All I know is that since Instagram kicked him off, he hasn't really been. Um, they didn't kick him off. Face. They like suspended his account, but knowing Kanye, like he would take that as disrespect. He'd be oh, like, yeah, I'm Donda no longer too. using. Then, then this was Instagram. all happening during the Donda era, basically. So Donda two dropped during this time as well, and then he had the live concerts again. I remember at one of them, he would. It was a problem with the mic. You know, oh yeah, through yeah. the mic and shit, mm-hmm. and then at another one, that's when he was begging for Kim back. That was before this. Oh, that was before. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. the at the concert with Drake was that before? I feel like that was before as well. It might have been. I feel like that was down to one rollout. Yeah. But yeah, all of this basically the whole first five months of the year, this nigga Kanye been in the headlines for something. Then he mm-hmm. goddamn started fucking with Anthony, uh, I mean, Antonio Brown. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, he been in the news for something this whole beginning of the year, first quarter. So Yeah, but it's, it's been crazy. pretty quiet. It's been quiet, especially for the past for week, the past surprisingly quiet for the past week because um, that's when we seen that P had them tattoos. Yeah. And I'm like, what And like Kim has basically been taking him to every fucking event that she has gone to I seen in the past some sh- couple weeks. So. I had seen some shit probably like two weeks ago of him driving with, with um, North and the golf Oh yeah, go- on golf the golf course. course. That shit was weird too, but I I'm surprised that Kanye hasn't the said anything anywhere, but maybe not the tattoos. Maybe though. they did something like what is Private that? Some sort bro? of legal it's thing where he can't do shit. shit. But the and tattoo I, shit is weird. Because you haven't even shit. been dating her like long enough for you to be tattooing nigga, her kid's name. Nigga, you ain't been. It don't matter how long enough. Them is not your <laughs> kids, nigga. <laughs> Them is her kids. It don't matter. It ain't no. It ain't been long enough. There is no long enough to tattoo another nigga kids on you. I'm not saying in terms Come of like he dog. should do a period. I'm just saying like with the if you were gonna be this reckless, the time frame of it is makes also it makes it worse. Yeah. But That's what I mean. That, yeah, that it's is it's not even long enough for you to even consider some goofy ass thought like that. That's what I'm trying to say. But he he of the Caucasoids, so not the I don't I don't really know how they function. I mean, I do know how they function allegedly, but I'm not going mm. put nothing past them basically. But then the Kim K shit with Ray J just dropped this week too. Ray J talking about something. This was all planned. Most people had a kind of idea it was, but yeah. it was like Kim, Chris Jenner, and Ray J all came up We're with this master cahoots. plan in cahoots, basically, <laughs> to drop the sex tape. But Ray J was really like, he wasn't necessarily, the way he was explaining it wasn't like he was a mastermind. It was just like he was willing to play, play along, basically. Mm. <clears throat> but I'm like, did Chris Jenner watch the video? Like, how she know what kind of statistics this thing would do? Was was it worthy? Maybe she saw some uh, clips. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on over there, but they gotta figure it out. All mm-hmm. I know is, goddamn, when it comes to protecting your kids, I'm on Kanye's side. That's all. I, I almost know. feel like I don't know. All this shit feels kind of like. Short sure. publicity. It's like because their new right? show done came out, so it's like they've been in the news for like Ever. I don't know, for like for the past year, really. It's like always some new shit going on with them, and you know, like they oh, had yeah, left they their had show. Shit with Black China too. It's like so much <laughs> attention on them right now for like in different areas for different things. It's like. And their show was on, like, of course, yeah. now niggas want to tune in to see what the fuck happened in the past few months because all this shit 
has gone on with them. Right, it's literally, literally in the past year, all of them done had fucking news. Something man. going on Trisha with Thompson them. Trisha Thompson cheating on Shorty. He Multiple always times. in the news. Then goddamn <laughs> Travis Scott, goddamn Astro World, Astro World. That was Kim and Kanye divorced. Kim and Kanye. Courtney just got engaged Chris to Travis Jenner Barker. Goddamn Chris Jenner put out the sex tape. Now all of them goddamn beat the case versus Black China. I mean, it's just a lot going on. But I don't, I don't know why know. Black China even was did it? that. That was a waste of money. She did she sue the Kardashians or did she sue the Jenners? She was suing them both. Oh, she okay. was suing the Kardashians. Basically, you know, they have their own like little everybody business for shit. Show. Yeah, like under right. Chris, and so she's basically suing them for that. Um, she lost. I don't know why she even did that. I don't know why she thought she was going to win. Thought, I thought she might have had a chance until mm, some of the crazy no. shit started coming out. I watched that I show. Like, uh, no, <laughs> I don't know why. I, mean, I don't I know what she's talking shit. about. Black China is goofy as hell on I mean, that show, obviously. outside of that show. <laughs> so I don't know why she thought that there was a chance that she was gonna win um, a case against the fucking Kardashians as a unit, based off of their money backing. Mm-hmm. Like Black China don't got it like them. So. I mean that's obvious, but. I thought it was going to be a fair and just trial. (laughs) (laughs) Not fair and just. (laughs) Bye. (laughs) I'm good. Yeah, I guess. I mean, too bad, I guess. (laughs) Too bad, I guess. I mean, that's fucked up. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure she felt slighted in some I kind mean, of way. Probably. Like I said, yeah, I thought based on based on what I heard her slights were, I was like, that sounds reasonable. But once they started coming out with she stabbed somebody <laughs> and threatened to kill somebody, and I mean, stuff, I'm I not surprised. Like, she literally looked yeah. insane on that show, and then she had her own show I where her mom not watched one episode of that shit. I mean, I'm sure you have, but it was only one season, and it wasn't. Like oh, an amazing hold show. On, what show is that? I'm talking about Black and China, not Black and China. Black China <laughs> and Rob had their own show. Oh, that's what it's about. That's I thought she's it was suing about them the whole over that. Show. No, she's suing. I ain't seen either one of them. I mean, so I'm it's sure it's all the same to me. <laughs> so she's suing them for like. Oh, I know that shit was lit then. If it was just her, they it was, was the just, two main yeah, characters. Yeah, it was like on their Boy, relationship, yeah, which was, was I know out of control. Ridiculous. She really was running that nigga. And, um, I know she was being ridiculous. And then Rob was just bad. That changed the perspectives. Hell. Yes. Um, I mean, we ain't got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got to do it, so... Um, yeah, I guess that's that's pretty much been the news of Kanye. He been taking over out of all the entertainment people. He basically done ran the first quarter. Outside of maybe what we about to talk about, that might be in competition. Oh, that's Will Smith. The biggest thing yeah, the Oscars. Well, I mean that shit was like random as hell. That shit was wild. It was like I be hating when I got when down, it happened. Get on Twitter and. It's something big that done happened. I missed it. So now yeah, it's like, I gotta was, catch up. It was literally when we shit. was like driving back from New York. From New York. Oh, yeah. And I was on my phone. I was like, wait, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at the fucking Oscars. I was like, like right when real. we got home, it was both of them. Because remember that we seen that pile up too. Yeah. Um, in Pennsylvania, right Pat, right on the road we was driving on. Yeah. That shit was wild. So both that of them shits like, happened the same night. We had been driving like 15 hours straight. Um, got home and got on Twitter and that shit was goddamn crazy. I mean, I saw that while we were driving. Oh, you did? <clears throat> yeah, that's when we started you talking showed? about it. Because then we had watched that um, YouTube video where Shannon Sharp and um, uh, Skip were talking about it. I remember it was when we stopped in... Virginia, I think. That couldn't have been right. Okay, because so I just made a bold thing. Then. No, I'm saying, listen to what I'm about to say. Mm-hmm. We saw it the night it happened. Yeah, that night we saw it Skip happen. and Shannon wouldn't have been talking about it that night. They don't come I'm saying on the, the drive, day. they were talking about it. And and Shannon was like, that shit was outrageous. Listen while we were driving. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay. So when did I hear it then? Were you not listening to what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. We drove. That night when we got home, we saw the video. That was the night it happened. No, we saw it the night before we left. Because Oscar's oh, okay, on Sunday okay. night. Okay, now. 
I thought we saw it the day the night we got back home. No. So we thought we saw it the night before. Yes. Okay. So now it makes sense that Skip and Shannon was talking mm-hmm. about it. Okay. I mean, we just gotta goddamn talk through some things. You be too ready to be right. I just be wanting you to <laughs> too ready to be yeah, right. I just be wanting you to listen to what I'm saying. Is mm-hmm. when you listen to what I'm saying, now you can actually dissect what I'm saying and mm-hmm. tell me where where I'm going wrong with you. Okay. Exactly. Come on now, dog. Hey, Anyways, man. the point is that shit was outrageous. Um, that shit was. I felt like definitely out of pocket but who was out of pocket why are you trying to be politically correct how was, was that politically pocket? correct who was out of pocket i feel like <laughs> will was out of pocket for getting up there and slapping that nigga on stage like it's so much to i unpack mean here. it is a lot to unpack because it's like what's going on why are, why would that like I understand like okay like I'm upset like don't fucking talk about my wife but I wouldn't even want you to be like you know I'm about to go up there in front of all these people and just slap the shit out of this nigga because now I'm thinking about what's the retaliation for that gonna look like it, immediate in like in immediate stance that's what I'm saying a lot of things it's a lot to unpack from the very beginning it's a lot <clears> to unpack cause just from what you just said the the what's gonna what's the immediate consequences right now? Yeah, like that what is shit, this gonna escalate that's how you into? Know it was some whole shit. I fuck with Will, but that was some whole shit. Goddamn, because if it was the Rock, if it was somebody that the Rock, if it was somebody, yeah, it could have been the Rock. The Rock yeah. whole shit. Yeah. He did. <laughs> so if it was the Rock, it wouldn't have been like that. That's what I I'm mean, saying. It would have been. I I feel like it would have been retaliation. Maybe Rock could have held his. I, I think I, I, I feel think like the Rock is pretty professional. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think Chris Rock is just more professional than he is, goddamn, a retaliator, basically. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think, see. I don't think Chris, Chris Rock, Rock is a like pro. he got bullied growing somebody, up, but you know, he seems like he seems, like, he seems like the kind of guy that's like that. If some shit happens to him physically, he's kind of like, damn, like that's kind of fucked up. Like he don't yeah. want to get in no. Um, he not physical altercation because he probably knows what the fuck he got going on. He is aware of his his uh, so. limits. I don't think he got. I'm not saying I don't think he got limits, but I'm saying I feel like everybody look at Chris Rock like he probably can't fight. He probably can't defend himself. I feel like he can, and that don't mean he would have beat Will Smith ass. But I I'm mean, saying I feel yeah. like he could defend himself. I mean, yeah, I just feel I like he, he could, felt more. I don't think he's that kind of person. Too, yeah, like, he cared more that. about. Perf- being professional then he cared about the retaliation game. Yeah. and he was probably like really taken aback he was going goddamn uh, like destroy that nigga with that that's tongue kinda like, that shit was coming boy he was like I could have I could have yeah uh, <laughs> pause <laughs> yeah pause <laughs> <laughs> yeah pause nigga that's Come definitely on, gonna dog. go in the free <laughs> Like, what the fuck are they talking about? Yo. All right, listen. All right, listen, dog. Listen, dog. I mean, he was about to roast his ass, basically. Like, he was finna go to work on that nigga because he was like, you could hear him. He was like, I could, but he was like, nah. nah." He was like, you like, nah, nah, I ain't gonna do it. But it's a lot to unpack. I feel like Chris. Uh, Will Smith wouldn't have did that shit if it was somebody that he felt wouldn't be professional. Like, if it was somebody that he felt don't give a damn about profession, I'm finna whoop your ass like Shannon Sharp. <laughs> Shannon Sharp said, I'm coming about this tux. This tux got goddamn left on the floor, nigga, and they finna be clean up crew. Mm-hmm. I feel like it also kind of like brought to light clearly that they they don't fuck with that nigga and that wasn't something that I was aware of before this situation like this Who wasn't don't fuck with that nigga? like Will Smith and Jada have some I wasn't sort of uh, a, yeah, lot. a little beef with that nigga that was something I didn't I wasn't aware of this nigga Will Smith ain't got no beef 
<laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, bro. I feel like whatever got there the was. Beef. Well, obviously, that's what I mean. That he just retaliating on her behalf, but that's different than he got the actual beef. Like, okay, even though he might he got residual beef, beef because that's his wife, and yeah. so he's obviously on her I'm fucking to side. Her, but <clears throat> it's weak, bro. You could defend. Okay, I, I told you there's a lot to unpack here. For one. Going back to Jada, the start of the, no, the start of the situation. I feel like what created the beef, or whatever, was I think twenty sixteen where Chris Rock hosted the Oscars, and that was the same year Will and Jada was trying to get everybody to boycott the Oscars, and basically Chris Rock made a joke mm-hmm. of some kind, talk about some like I wouldn't, I'm not boycotting the Oscars. The only reason why Jada wants to boycott is because she wasn't invited anyway or some shit like that. So, but they weren't there. Will Smith and Jada wasn't there, of course, because they was boycotting the Oscars. Chris Rock was hosting. So, that's what I've seen people say that's what it stems from. Like, yeah, that was the beginning. That was the beginning of Chris Rock and picking then- on Jada. I don't feel like that's a pick on. I don't feel like that joke is that harsh to an extent. Like it is kind of because it is kind of because Jada definitely has enough star power to be invited to the Oscars. It's not like she a buster that don't nobody know. Was it because they weren't invited or was it because they weren't nominated for what they their movie? That no, they I'm saying based on for. his joke, he was saying. No, I'm saying. But what's the reason why they didn't go? They boycotted. Was it because they weren't invited or because they didn't get nominated? I it feel like it was nominated. They didn't get nominated. <clears throat> or they Which is were weak anyway. Like I don't know if it was because they didn't get nominated. Like just just because they didn't, I feel like it was like more of like a they didn't think that enough black actors were getting nominated for oh, shit. Okay, that I sounds think. more reasonable. If it was just because we didn't get nominated, yeah, that's absurd. Yeah, that's I, like, I think it was but, stemmed from that. Um, yeah, I mean it stemmed from that, and then Chris Rock made the joke. Uh, G.I. Jane 2 Love you Jada Can't wait to see it Or some shit like that I mean I don't think to me, That was that's a not bit, that bad I Especially mean, The only way it's bad The only way I could say it's bad Is if We had proof that Chris Rock knew She had alopecia Which I've seen Some shit that said She don't really got alopecia I seen that And then I also seen That he didn't know But then I had seen Some shit like Oh yeah he did know But I'm like how do we know if we knew or not? How, That's what I'm what saying. Is Unless we have proof that he knew that she had alopecia, then I could be like, okay, that that was. If the, he like, if he said it and he knew but, she had alopecia, then it's like, okay, why are you saying that? But if her alopecia isn't real, then that allegedly. But that was that, also that, like that's just one thing I seen. So we don't yeah, know. I don't have I don't her know. fucking medical records. Be like, yeah, she for sure does have it. So it's like. But like, <clears throat> even if she does, so if she does have it. I'm going to just go with she does have it because that's the consensus. Um, it's not detrimental. It's not the end of the world. You're not, you're not going to get up off of here for alopecia. Apparently, that's like basic baldness. That's what all niggas have that be going bald is a form of alopecia. So, that's just life. I mean, I don't really... And i seen video of her saying she love her, herself or blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't care what anybody has to say about my bald head, some shit like that, a short hair, some shit like that. So I've seen her embrace it, and she's always had short hair. So I didn't even think nothing of it, really, when I seen her. <laughs> like, I didn't know that she had alopecia. I didn't know she had I thought alopecia, she was just doing the bald thing. I was like, yeah, she because good. she's always had short hair. So I thought this was just a new hairstyle that she wanted mm-hmm. to rock with. So I was just like, all right, cool. She didn't look bad to me. But he said it. Will Smith laughed, looked at Jada, got up, fired off on Chris Rock, which is crazy. That shit, the the technique was. It's, it's <laughs> I feel like slapping a nigga in the face is like yeah, more disrespectful than he is more disrespectful. punching somebody because it's like. It's definitely more disrespectful, but the because if you was punch terrible. me, it's like okay, you want to fight, like you want me to like. Yeah, you want to start a fight? Like you a, bitch. a slap, yeah, a slap is like you a bitch and you not gonna do shit, and <laughs> and he did it. So, 
but y'all are saying she, <laughs> she on the side. This, no, this I'm saying problem, I'm just saying he didn't do anything back, so it's like so the slap. Bitch. I'm not saying he's a bitch. I'm saying the slap <laughs> okay. in Will Smith's mind. He feels like yeah, like nigga, you a bitch just like but, I thought. But he, when he sat but that's down. what makes and then he had the nerve Will to Smith. say, "Keep my wife saying about your fucking mouth," which is twice. what he actually should have just said. Yeah, if he had just said and that, that would have been, been like, "Damn, her. Will," but I would have been but like, "Okay." Will but, Smith got damn. That's what make it whole shit is because if Will Smith really felt like that, like yeah, got that nigga, he a bitch, <laughs> then <laughs> then he ugly because you clearly did this. That's why I, if you wanted to put hands on this nigga, all I would have did was goddamn went to the back and waited on him and went to work and that <laughs> give him opportunity to fight and defend himself back free of goddamn the cameras and all that shit like you trying to do this shit in front of like you know there's a great possibility there won't be a response so it's like he wanted to to embarrass him in front of everybody as well that's bully shit it did feel kind of like that because it's like if you disrespect somebody that i'm fucking with i don't want to just like slap you like i want to fight you like i don't want this to be just like me slapping you i I want to like square up until i approach you i'm saying like if i'm gonna go up and be violent with you i'm gonna be like let's get violent (laughs) for real i mean well not like in terms of like weapons but just (laughs) 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 like let's square up like let's fight about this shit because i'm not i'm probably not gonna feel relieved with just one slap I mean, I feel like if that nigga really wanted to put hands on Chris Rock, he should have did it like a man, heads up, squared up, goddamn, um, toe to toe, basically, like give him an opportunity to defend himself. I and wonder we'll see. It's easy to slap somebody, but to slap, it's easy to slap somebody when you know there's a possibility that there that there is not going to be an immediate response because of the the situation that y'all are in, but. If you slap somebody like on the street, nah, I can't say on the street. <laughs> on, the on the street, street. the nigga might be like, "Damn, what the fuck going on?" Nah, right. It's gonna be hooking season, but yeah. If you slap somebody like toe to toe, don't go back to your seat. Just stand there, like more than likely, yeah. and it's, and it's not cameras all around, and you're not in the middle of a. A high high class function event. Goddamn. Yeah. So I mean, then that to me that's when it's like if you slap that nigga, then and he don't do shit. Okay, that nigga might be a bitch. But once you add yeah, all these like other the circumstances, variables, yeah, I wouldn't call like, him like a bitch. Yeah. for not responding because that was kind of just like and he held. I'm taking the back. Like and that was the strength. I mean. <clears throat> that shit was fucked up, but that was the strength. Him, goddamn, being like, I, I watched that body language expert. Did you watch that shit with me? No. But he was kind of breaking down, like he broke down the whole situation. But after the slap, he was kind of breaking down, like what he felt Chris Rock body language was telling him, and like almost frame by frame, action by action, basically. You know, he was saying like it seemed like in a in a split second he went from he was going to retaliate by start joking to <clears throat> keeping his frame and remaining professional and continuing the show basically it was like part? when he was like i he was like it was just a joke, man. And then, he, and then he, <coughs> after this nigga yelled, keep my name out, out your fucking mm-hmm. mouth. He was like, okay, I will. And yeah. he was like, you know, I could. And then he just stopped. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me or some shit. Yeah. And then he kind of like relaxed back into entertainment mode or show mode, basically. Mm-hmm. But it was like, at first he was interacting with the confrontation mm-hmm. and it could have escalated yeah but I feel like <clears throat> in the end if this nigga Will Smith would have just blurted that out I feel like that's that would have been defending his wife without him creating a whole catastrophe because he won an Oscar and plenty of other people won Oscars but nobody talked about that shit because the biggest thing was him, him slapping, slapping this nigga Chris Rock. So he just shitted on that whole night, basically, 
uh, all the accomplishments that happened in that night. Yeah, and, uh, fucking and um, turned the night into the Samuel night. Samuel Jackson got his first Oscar that night. For real? Yeah. Damn. I heard about Quest Love. Yeah, you got an and, Oscar. Um, of course, Will Smith. I didn't know about Samuel. Yeah, it was his first. But Samuel Oscar. has done more movies. Random fact: Samuel yeah, has done more movies than anybody. He's been in more movies than anybody. Mm-hmm. And then he got this is his right first now. fucking Actors. year of the, getting the Oscar. Uh, Oscar, and that was just. I didn't know another random fact. Chris Rock apparently, I mean, The Rock is apparently the highest paid actor. That's crazy. Really? That's what they were saying in the Young Rock show. I might not have been paying attention. Yeah, he was saying now he, or maybe it wasn't the Young Rock show. I think it was. Um, Attitude Era documentary I was watching about the WWE mm-hmm. and they were saying Chris Rock I mean The, the Rock, Rock. <laughs> um, then worked his way up to being the highest paid actor in Hollywood but anyway back to the subject that nigga <laughs> um, damn what was he saying we talking about the Oscars oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was saying no I was talking about specifically um, I was saying that um, he basically Covered up the whole night and turned the turned yeah. the night into the night. Chris Rock, I mean Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. Mm-hmm. He's pretty much the most craziest shit. One of the craziest things that I've seen like live TV. Yeah. yeah. Like before it was Kanye uh, hopping on stage. Who was that? Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on Taylor Swift. That was kind of like the most outrageous thing. But yeah. this is. I think this is twice, twice as outrageous. Like the Masters kind of got physical. up there and slapped Taylor Swift. Like that would be a different. Niggas situation. know the rules of engagement. <laughs> I would like niggas know the rules of engagement. You know, good and well, it's a wrap. You do that, so I'll I'll be more. I would be more inclined. Um. <laughs> um you supposed to tell me what I was saying <laughs> before. Damn, what's the topic again? We talking about the Oscars. Oh thing. yeah. Um, I don't even remember. I can't even hold you. Well. Oh, I was saying about if Kanye had went up and slapped. Taylor oh yeah. Swift. Oh, I was saying that I don't believe no nigga would slap no girl. I mean, yeah, and I was like, he'd have to be on drugs to really make a mistake like that. I don't think a nigga on drugs gonna make that kind of mistake. Maybe some shit be having you out your mind. Well, if you on like shrooms on and like fucking heroin TV, and shit. Nigga. I don't know. Niggas I feel like we drugs. ain't seen it. We done, it's been some outrageous niggas in our lifetime. Rick James, he ain't gonna slap <laughs> nobody on life. Like, it's been niggas outrageous niggas that's been on drugs as well and mm-hmm. they ain't never slap no mistake. And I know award on show. Live TV, nigga. Yeah. I don't think that was I don't think that was happening but that shit was wild when was that that was April or was that March Oscars that was March yeah that was March the end of March um that was outrageous pretty big situation for the first quarter yeah, of the year that was like the news for a good couple of weeks yeah <clears throat> um what else is there? I guess more recently in like the past week is the whole Elon Musk buying Twitter. That nigga too Forty four billion dog. dollars in liquid. liquid. And not like he put up shit on it. Liquid. That nigga got forty four billion dollars. I don't be thinking people be understanding throw. how much a billion is compared to a million it was like I did I looked up this thing one time and it was like I be I'm a random facts nigga so um I be looking into shit like that but I looked up this thing one time it was like if you if you took a, a million seconds well, it was basically how much time is a million seconds and it was like 11 days or some shit like that so we just rounded to 11 days and then it was like how much time is a billion seconds and that shit was 33 years some shit like that <laughs> <laughs> but 
just that difference alone, like mm-hmm. eleven days. I ain't even thirty three years old yet, nigga. Eleven days, that shit just went by quickly. Mm-hmm. So just comparing those eleven days to thirty three years, like that tell you the difference between a million and a billion, and it's yeah. crucial. And he had forty four of those guys. Not even no, he had more of those guys. Right. He had forty four free ones to give away for Twitter. Not giving away, obviously, it's an yeah. investment. But I'm just saying, in order to make a forty four billion dollar investment liquid, your billions got to be stupid. You got to have at least three times that I would say. So I mean, how much is Elon? I would worth? think. I don't know. I know like, it's in the billions, but I, I don't like, know how many it was. Billions. I thought it was like forty four billion. Right. <laughs> so I don't know, but forty four billion liquid. That shit is crazy. It started though with him. He did something first. Two hundred fifty-five billion USD. Two hundred fifty-five times thirty-three. That's if you converted Elon Musk's money, every dollar he has, to seconds. Two hundred (laughs) fifty-five billion times thirty-three years, because each billion is thirty-three. I mean. Each billion seconds is 33 years. So 255 Mm -hmm. times 33. However much that is, that's how much money that nigga got. Going stupid. Um, But he ran... No, but like I was about to say, he did something before that. Then he like... He tried to... He became the... the, the, He got on the board. Okay. And then they were... He was talking about he was going to buy Twitter. And then he was like, no, I'm not going to do that. And then... Literally, like a couple of days later, he it was like, yeah, he bought it. <clears throat> it was like fifty four dollars. What was it like fifty four dollars a a share? I don't Some even. Some shit know. like that. Forty five, maybe. I got dyslexia. That's the right word, right? <laughs> oh, you got dyslexia <laughs> all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I got dyslexia. Uh, but Damn. yeah, that shit crazy. He ran on some like, I'm bringing free. Um, freedom speech of speech back, back or whatever. I had seen some people got their some girl had tweeted that she had got her account back. Oh. I was like, he's already in there doing shit like that. Like, what is the parameters? Like, what is that nigga own it? The parameters is y'all niggas do what I say. That's what the I mean. Like, is. is he? What is he going through and being like, yeah, unblock everybody who's ever been. That would Locked be fine. Off Twitter. That's like the snap coming back. That's like coming back from the snap to Thanos. I mean, in end game. Mm. Um, like everybody, everybody just magically appear back on the timeline. <laughs> Welcome back. Going crazy. Mm. I'm back, guys. But it, people wouldn't know. It would only be fine if Twitter sent you a message. It's like all the people that, that back. It, yeah, all the people that they that it snapped back send you a message. Your your account's unblocked. Mm-hmm. Then you'll have everybody basically tweeting at the same time. Oh shit, bro, I'm back. Check on your old one, see if you can get back in there. I'm gonna do it after the show. <laughs> I do, bro. Bro, I had that December 2009. Mm-hmm. OG, Twitter OG, December 2009. Twitter OG. <laughs> Where they got there, hold me. <laughs> Probably like, what was it, like two years ago? I know it was over a year ago. Yeah. It might have been two years ago, but <clears throat> had to create a new Twitter. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what this means per se, that he bought this shit. I feel like now he's just trying to he just trying to be a big dog, basically. He's trying to position himself up against Mark Zuckerberg when it comes to, um, like social where media. social media is going to go like how we were talking about last episode the yeah. direction social media is going he's just trying to position himself and be that dude um, so I guess we'll see how that goes hopefully it just I want it to be more freedom of speech though I, people be crying I'm not really a crier like that um, but people be crying about pe- other people's opinions and taking shit to the extreme on what should happen to them which I'm going to get to a little later but um, I don't really I might have a different opinion than you it might not even be totally different I might agree with I'm more so of a agree with a certain part and not agree with what I don't agree with but um, I don't throw the baby out with the bath water basically 
Mm-hmm. Um, what I'm seeing, though, is that he didn't all put up the money by himself. Like, he I got it know. from other, like, So he areas. got to come in with his own board. Yeah. Um, he put up, like, $2 billion of his own, I, I think. He did that. that. Mm. Well, I mean, oh, seven billion. It's still a lot, man. I mean, it's still obviously it's still a lot, but and he still worked two fifty five bees in the game. But yeah, so, so that was. We'll see how that goes, I guess. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, it turns out reasonably well. I guess in the long run, in mm-hmm. the short run, it's like it ain't really shit been popping. Hey, Twitter don't feel no different. Yeah, it's the same shit going same on. Same shit. Except for this new close friends thing. Yeah. But I've been not everybody that, has got like, it yet. I seen it like two days ago for the first time. Oh, you have it on yours? I think. I mean, I haven't tried it, but uh-huh. I, I seen like when I be tweeting now, it be it got a little drop down that say everyone. And I ain't clicked it, but I'm sure if I oh, click okay. it, it'll be like close friends. Mm. But um, I don't even know what I would do with that shit. I mean, I feel like that's mostly for goddamn the sex workers and the only fans people that <laughs> go try to so goddamn. I feel like Twitter shit. isn't the place where I don't know, like you want to have close friends, you can just make your shit private. Usually, like when you tweet, yeah. you kind of just want to like just you want to go out. viral, you want people to see it. So it's kind of like that's what it's turned into. Like people just kind of like tweet, and you want more and more people to retweet it and yeah. interact with you. So it's like. The close friends thing, I think, is more of like, I, I guess, know. if you're trying to talk shit, I don't know. Or if you just having, like, a real private-ass moment on and Twitter. And then it's, like, it's just an extra step, like, because you got to remember to switch between the two when you tweet in, like, I want to just tweet this. Like, what if you, what if you in, on Twitter and you're in the process of tweeting to, right, tweeting to everybody and tweeting to your close friends so now you gotta be sure. to goddamn I'm sure so I mean that happens to people on, come. that happens with people on Instagram all the time <laughs> that end up posting they shit that was supposed yeah. to be in close friends I feel like every week I'm seeing somebody be like sorry that was for my close friends <laughs> so it's like I'm sure the same shit gonna be happening with Twitter yeah uh, I don't know if I'm gonna hop on that train we'll see We'll see. I got to figure out a good reason to do it. But, yeah, I mean, that sounds about right. What else we got? Um, Just the new releases. Uh. New releases. Shit. It was a couple things that dropped in these little three months time frame. TV shows. You had the season five of Snowfall. The, f- the ha- first half of season, what is it, season four of um, Ozark? Ozark? Yeah, the last... The yeah, last one just dropped like in the past week. We ain't watched it yet, but we saw the first half. Yeah. Uh, that shit was dope. That shit was crazy. I seen somebody say they hated how the show ended, so What, after seeing the yes. second half, mm-hmm. that's supposed to be the end of the show? Yeah. Damn, that's gay. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> that's ugly. <laughs> you gotta learn how to put the bee. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta learn new shit. But That's I'm probably like extra every now and then. Gotta get. No, all you gotta do is find the sound and just plug it in. Like it's a, like it's one of your um. I've never added background audio. music that you've been doing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. What we got? Oh, Ozark. I hope it's good. I hope the second half is straight. The first half was all right. I mean, Marty was still Marty Chill. Um, I forgot his wife's name, but she was still hectic and chaotic to me. Um, the kids, the girl kind of just soothed out. She kind of like more mm-hmm. mellow now. The, yeah, she's kind of like boy, she's going crazy. In the business now. <laughs> yeah, the boy, he, he he's bucking. rebelling. Yeah, so. Um, but what's the name? Wyatt and the old lady done got clapped. That's how the first half ended. Yeah, that shit was wild. That shit was wild. And what's the name? Ruth going stupid. Yeah, I can't she, wait to see she, what it what it start off with the second half. Her, what she what what's her mission? I'm ready to see that shit. Clearly, her mission is to murder that nigga. Yeah, 
but we'll see where how it I don't goes. think that's the kind of nigga you could just yeah I was like I don't think she's gonna be successful but yeah. we'll see where it goes so that's Ozark Snowfall that shit mm. um this season was kind of slow it was definitely slow um, it wasn't as much action it was more storytelling I guess yeah um but they it gotta ended. Do, they gotta do better with Franklin Girlfriend. That's all I gotta right. say. I mean, the next season's supposed to be the last one, so yeah. it's gonna be a wrap for the show anyway. That shit getting chaotic. But I knew it was. I mean, that's what it is. That's the dope game. Nigga, niggas swear they finna goddamn be the golden boy of the dope game. Like, no, no bad is gonna happen to me. I'ma survive. I'ma leave with my money. And all my homies still gonna be my homies. Mm-hmm. Not happening. <laughs> it's never happened in the history. Like, I don't know why everybody think that it's gonna be them, but Franklin went down that path as usual. And this shit is falling apart, bro. It's folding. Yeah, <laughs> it's folding and it's folding quick too. Like that nigga went from having what a hundred a hundred mms to nothing <laughs> basically in 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 a week. Um, we still don't know what happened to Peaches, but it seemed like Peaches hit him up for like the first thirty or however much it was that was at at at, at the safe house, mm-hmm. and then um, Reed cleared out his bank account for the other however much it was 70,000 some shit like that so that shit both happened within a week or two I guess you can't be too perfect with the time I think it was longer than that it was probably like a month probably about a month a month a couple months well anyway it was in the within the same year that was for sure yeah um yeah and you got it Louis got them I don't know what she thought, cause it's like she don't she don't understand the game. It's like once you get to that kind of money, niggas not trying to hear we family and all that shit. Once it's all gone yeah. and it's all gone, cause you fucked me. Yeah. So I don't know why Louis didn't s- suspect that this nigga might not be playing. Right. <laughs> like I'm not playing with your ass, nigga. Like I need my fucking money back. And. He didn't even say he need the money. Like, he wanted Louie to give him the money. All he wanted was her, for her to goddamn set up a way where he can get in front of Reed. He was just looking for Reed. Yeah. So, um, but she didn't want to fuck up her opportunity now. It's just, it's always somebody that I feel like I need to be at the top. And it sound good, but a lot of times you don't want that responsibility, bro. A lot of times you don't want that responsibility because if you wanted that responsibility, you would have already been at the top. You wouldn't be asking or trying to get there. You would have came in at the top if you wanted top nigga responsibilities. Mm-hmm. So we gonna see how that play out. I know Jerome in a tight space. I feel like Jerome dying next season. <laughs> Unfortunately, I fuck with Jerome. That's my nigga, but I feel like he gonna die next season for sure. Mm-hmm. If if I gotta choose one person that's gonna die, I feel like it's gonna be Jerome. But um, he gonna be in a tight space because Franklin blood, but now he married to Louis. Mm-hmm. So it's like, who is he supposed to be loyal to? I mean, technically he's supposed to be loyal to his wife, but his wife isn't making the good decision, in my opinion. So. It's like he has to be loyal to something that he know is a detriment, which is ugly. So, feel bad for that nigga. But <laughs> overall, hopefully the last season is hitting. I need at least eight out of them ten episodes to be hit. Because <laughs> <laughs> this season it was only like four, four out of ten. So, yeah. yeah. I think that's all the shows though. Um, Better Call Saul dropped a new season, I think. Yeah, we started uh, we watching watched it. it. We started watching it. Yeah, but we didn't. I think we only got like two or three episodes in. That one's starting to go slow too, but mm-hmm. we'll catch up on it. See what it's talking about. Movie wise, what movies came out? The Tender Swindler movie. Oh yeah, Tender Swindler. That shit was wild. 
That was like a whole moment <laughs> as well. It's always moments second. on Twitter, bro. That shit be wild. I mean, because that shit was goofy, too. So. That shit was, yeah. bro. Like, but I just feel like women sure know how to play the victim, bro. Because I just feel like this shit happened to niggas all the time. With girls just running it up on you. Hitting you with all the lies. You spending all the bread. <laughs> but the, the only difference is... Well, nah, I wouldn't even say that's a difference. I would just say... It just doesn't happen to women as much. So I guess it's more shocking. But they was playing themselves. Like, what are you talking about? This nigga was hitting... Bruh, this nigga had an assembly line of, <laughs> of, t- of text. <laughs> with how long into the relationship should this text go out right. oh we just got jumped send out the picture of, with, of the bodyguard with the bloody head <laughs> it's that day like he that shit was so this good. was just running it was impeccable game but this nigga was wild bro yeah I wish I didn't give a fuck like that cause it looked like he's having a fun life like he's traveling on private jets and all this shit but he just finesses like that scam that's game that's a lot of work that's scamming if you gonna scam do it. it big he doing it big like a boss like he put so much effort into it's the details of his scam job. yeah his it's a full time life. like these niggas in Atlanta scamming that's small they time. trying to get ten thousand dollars and they about to blow it all this week <laughs> this nigga is club. getting like <laughs> wires yeah transfer, this nigga like, going stupid shit. like so yeah we gonna do it do it big so yeah, I mean, that's the game that he was able to play. Um, live your life, nigga. You got to deal with the consequences, whether it's you get sued or whatever. You got to deal with it. But right. I'm pretty sure he was having a great time fucking fucking plenty of women that probably are top tier because they was all looking for that kind of top tier lifestyle. So they all got them at least regard themselves as top tier. He pretty much probably regarded them as top tier too if he took them so yeah they were white I though I think he was so also they weren't top tier to me he was also taking I mean the girls that they showed that he took advantage of no he was more looking towards the ones that he got the money from was like I some of them from all of them well I mean he was but I'm saying and he also was preying on the women who had a little insecurity. Yeah. Like, all women have some insecurity. It's not, it's, you just got to find it. Mm-hmm. But they weren't like top tier in the aspect. I mean, it's hard for me to judge because they they not black. So it's hard for me to be like, they really top tier. But as from what I see that um, from men that like women that's non-black, they was kind of like, I guess top tier, I guess. Or at least average in the top tier range. They wasn't like the baddest, but they were ugly. I don't like that. What? What that mean? I thought they were not at so anything. Say that. That's what I already said. I you already know, said that. You didn't that. say they were ugly. You I didn't never say they were. About. I'm so not saying that they're not. ugly. I'm saying Come that on. they were not <laughs> that. I mean, what I'm saying... They were basic-looking white girls to me. I mean, I guess. They like, weren't, I don't like, know that. I don't know white people like They're, like, five. Like you, grew up a, you grew up with white people. I didn't... <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm not good at judging them. I, they okay. all kind of the same to me. But I feel like... When I'm saying... I guess when I'm saying top tier, I'm like... They were, like, top tier in terms of status. Like, they had $10,000 and shit to be given this nigga. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily like they was just the baddest women, but it was like they were like in this status or in this tax bracket mm-hmm. to goddamn yeah. be able to fuck with that nigga. But I don't care either way. Like I don't care about that nigga doing it, and I don't care about them them girls being hurt. Like y'all all played the game, and y'all got what y'all wanted out of the game, and y'all figure it out. Leave me out of it. <laughs> but um. Was that the only movie you seen? That other movie I ain't seen. Oh, bad vegan. I mean, yeah. not movie documentary. I guess. Yeah, that was basically the same type of thing, except um, 
It was just like, one girl and one guy. It was it? one girl, one guy, and she was really goofy as hell. Even be following this nigga and letting him kind of like run her shit like that. She was kind of just, I don't know what she was thinking, but she She did. was living a fucking fairy tale. That's what she was thinking. What's just like the girls wild from is that like she was, He wasn't even like doing no shit to be like to show her like that he's living this lavish ass more lifestyle <clears throat> than her because she was like <clears throat> already like successful and had all of her own shit and she was like he was kind of like extra mysterious about what the fuck that he was doing. It was like she wasn't sure like what his job was. He was like act, acting like he was on some like military like secret agent type shit, and he had to be like on classified and records. This and is shit. why curiosity. And then it like the turned into, um, it like just turned into like him believing in some sort of like weird ass entity that. <laughs> it was like so goofy and she was like just following along with this shit cause she clearly is just like lost and that shit ended up getting her fucking arrested and she yeah, had to go she to got jail arrested. I thought she just yeah went she got arrested because she let this nigga convince her to like basically not run her fucking business oh, yeah, you and give say. all her money to him for goofy ass shit and so like she just like wasn't paying her employees wasn't paying any of her bills wasn't doing like all types of shit like then they like he tried to convince her to like you know get people to loan him loan her money so she could (laughs) fund some other like secret ass Mm. shit and he kept saying like all the money is in one place i'm trying to teach you about like you know discipline and like that money isn't real and that (laughs) it was just like so stupid i don't know why she like she literally you have to like fucking mental problems to even believe all this goofy ass shit i don't even know what part of it was a fucking fairy tale i'm not saying fairy tale as in it's a great thing i'm saying fairy tale as in it's a move it's a movie script like it's like she living she thinking she living a movie script where it's like it's this mysterious man and He's just so cool and he's kind of like weird, but I don't know. I'm kind of attracted to him and I just want to be in his presence and follow him. And do I guess he has me, some that's sort the of only thing that that's the only thing that makes sense to me. That's how she living. Like she, I hope it's kind of romantic. And it's that's what it like, seemed like. Because towards the end, um, this nigga didn't even end up serving no jail time for all the shit. He did. <laughs> because what had happened was after they arrest him, you know, like he's like in there waiting for his trial. <laughs> for bail yeah. like and he never got out on bail but she did because like her parents had like put the money up yeah um but he never got out and so basically by the time the trial finished they were like oh time served so you good but she mm-hmm. had to go back after he got out she had to go back to jail yeah. for like i think six months or some shit yeah, while he was like that out. Time um yeah i mean so so they both basically went to jail yeah they both went to jail but she just had got out early because she bailed out. Like, yeah. He just had to sit there the whole time. So, I mean, I guess I don't have no feelings about that either. They both got I what mean, they deserved. Fuck. She definitely, like, she played more of a part in, like, this, like, fraudulent shit because she did what she did affected so many other people. It wasn't just, like, yeah. those two girls, like, fucked up their own shit. Yeah. She fucked up, like, all of her employees, like, the person that Got she was like she, you she know paying, getting yeah. the restaurant from it was like Damn. she kind of just threw them <laughs> was like fuck it like these people like literally you know depended on this job and she was just like you know what whatever Ain't there fuck certain, it. is this is there certain things that your uh female race does or female gender race, race. <laughs> i mean gender i don't know what the mm-hmm. p- p- correct term is right here that you just be like I can't believe we like this <laughs> cause it be I mean that type I of shit like- <laughs> I be feeling like I be seeing a lot of just like <laughs> women that fall for like real stupid ass like culty shit it's really the cult shit that be getting me like mm-hmm. why be- and it's always it's always some like you know it's usually cults are led by men and yeah. it's always some women in there it's mostly women who fall for like the goofy ass shit i don't even I, like in the coach shit 
the women don't surprise me. It be the niggas. I mean, that's so. what I'm saying. I'm not surprised by them. You didn't ask me if I was surprised. I'm. You asked me why are we like this? <laughs> oh. if that's the thing that I would okay, be like. Okay, okay. That's is very disappointing. Like, why is it? Why is this the way it is? I'd be surprised when other men follow behind. To me, and that's cult when niggas, I feel like especially this when is the circumstances have to do with, because it always ends up going into that at some point where the nigga ends up taking whoever the <laughs> fuck he came in there with. <laughs> like I don't, I haven't seen. I used to listen to a lot of like cult podcast <laughs> shits where they were just talking about all different types of cults, and it always starts off on some like, you know, come here and let's all create together. The first together. one I really dove into was the David Koresh shit, the, 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 the Branch Davidians. And it yeah. always stems into like that, that nigga and then ends up taking, taking whoever out. the fuck he like, wants. He'll fuck your I wife, like he'll fuck your daughters. Terrible, bro. If a nigga want to have his own little function, uh, just him and four or five single women that want to follow him, okay, cool. But now you done took this nigga girl, you done brought this nigga in. Right. And now you done took this nigga girl and he going for it. <laughs> and, and you just. And he can't do shit about yeah. it. Like, no, he can do shit about he it. He can, what but. Life <laughs> these niggas live? Who they is believe these niggas? that this nigga is some sort of I will God. whoop that nigga ass. I'm God too, nigga. The hell you talking <laughs> about? Well, I wouldn't even be there. No, <laughs> I was like, you there? Nah, nigga. That shit dead. I, if I'm there, I'm that dick. The nigga in charge, nigga. The fuck you talk, nigga. <laughs> <Here>. <laughs> It should be talk. out of pocket though. Yeah, that shit is terrible. So, yeah, that should be wild when you be. I be. I be seeing shit. I be like, I don't know why niggas are like this. I hate y'all. Why? <laughs> I hate y'all so much. But those are the type of niggas that be like, you be saying, why do niggas be like this? The yeah. niggas that be in the cults. Oh, for sure. And nigga. the niggas that be. Um... <laughs> That's like. <laughs> That's like that's not something that a lot of niggas do. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of different. But for girls, that's something that girls like really fall into this. Yeah, and for, what for I was lot. about to say was that this post I had seen that reminded me like, okay, yeah, a lot of niggas are kind of like this. Like, just the real overly um, aggressive niggas who like thirsty thirsty yeah, and like immediately like go to like, like sex and shit like in the midst of like a regular conversation like i had seen yeah. this girl she had posted some shit and this nigga was like he had like the conversation was like in the morning like regular as fuck like you know how it's good morning how's your day whatever the fuck and then it was like he was like said something about damn like i don't know why my dick is so big like blah 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 it was like nigga what find it because i was like this nigga is absurd but like that's not the first time that like i see shit like that all the that time shit, with these it's niggas. lame on two accounts because for one it's lame like nigga it's nine o'clock in the morning <laughs> but for two it's like this nigga trying to brag but slick brag but slick trying to brag, but like, to, like why be interested and be curious no nigga that's like, like literally <laughs> that would make me be like actually i don't ever want to speak to you again because one, it's not even like we having like you know sexting uh, conversation. No. You just immediately go into okay. This is That's what it not was. Even... He was like, "My dick pic should be in the Louvre." And she was like, "What?" And he said, "I think I might take the best dick pics in history, random as hell, but I know I'm hyped about my shit." Why are we? Why are, <laughs> what? <laughs> what are we talking about like and she had just posted the dick pic part and then somebody was like nah what was this in response to like why did he say that and in the beginning she was just like oh i went back to sleep i had woke up just to pee that was what she had said and then he just started the conversation like that she had said that at 8 30 in the morning and then he just texted back at 12 p.m was like my dick pic should be in the loop stay away from niggas like that, <laughs> Cause that shit is just like I mean, it's one or two things. This nigga either, nah, I can't even be that. 
I'm about to say this nigga either don't care, like he not looking to be with her. He just really just trying to fuck, so he just trying to get straight. Get to straight it. to it. It could be that, but even if that was that, that that's ain't not no the approach. way to do it. Because like that's not gonna be like, that's oh, is that approach. what we're doing? Let me go ahead and fuck this nigga because yeah. your dick pic should be in the loop. Oh my god, let me <laughs> let me get a picture. I feel like that's what you want to say. Oh, let me get a send one over here. Let me see what it's talking about. But you know what the thing is is like. That shit does not work with men and women, like men towards women. But women could like literally switch the conversation immediately to some sex shit, and niggas would be like, "Okay, we could be talking about just it's nothing." Because. And I'm just like, "My nudes should be in the loo." We'd be like, "Haha, that's random, but let me see." That would be a nigga's response. That he would wouldn't be, be like, "I'm a post and be like, girls are mad weird." Oh, you saying if it was flip? Yeah. Yeah, the nigga would just <laughs> he would just be like, would just let look me for the nudes, nigga. And he wouldn't be like, he yeah, would definitely what's wrong think, with these I mean, bitches? I would think it was weird. I'd be like, <laughs> <it's> like <laughs> on first glance, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck is she? What is she talking about, bro? But then I, I mean, obviously, I'm gonna be like, what they looking like? Exactly. Let me see them. where they at though. But in my head, I'm definitely gonna be like. She got damn really throwing it, ain't she? <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 she got really, damn really throwing it, ain't she? <laughs> she really tried to get Are you gonna be going disappointed there. if it's somebody? No, I'm gonna be disappointed if some shit don't <laughs> fall off in the loop, <laughs> <dude. laughs> <laughs> Like, nigga, if you say that your dick dicks belong in the loop, uh, come on. Bro. Come on, dog. It's almost like That's what I was saying, you like, begging somebody to be like, she's probably like, nigga. <laughs> Now niggas is down bad. Niggas do shit like that, and I definitely be like, "This niggas, this a lot of you niggas. <laughs> like this. Yeah, y'all niggas are disappointed." And like, man. I feel like for some reason, I'm always seeing it from her. Like, she'll post some like shit. Oh, that's saying of just Twitter. niggas saying the goofiest shit to her, and it's like, like you the nigga that fuck. that says something like, um randomly like oh are you a good kisser like I'm a good kisser like just random shit like that niggas are ugly they be trying with like, with like, yeah, with like, like the, he said are you a good kisser trying. with the monkey on his eye <laughs> 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 like nigga the bye Bruh, come on dog like, dog come on dog <laughs> Like that shit is like it's don't like, ever send me monkey hiding in nigga. your eyes like that nigga like when after do some it, shit. I don't even send emojis like that dog I send the basics be like <laughs> cause like I'm, just, I'm picturing you doing like this and I don't you ever want you me not you nigga I'm just saying like if a nigga send me an uh, emoji like that I'm that picturing terrible, you, like I, what are you being There's shy emojis about you just don't use as a nigga bruh Especially not to another nigga, but even to another to a woman, you would it's just like you just. It took me a long time to even use the eyes. <laughs> I wasn't even using the eyes, dog. Mm. The basics: laughing, rolling on the floor, laughing, <laughs> dead laughing. Uh, that's about it. Mm. <laughs> oh, now my my jug is um the shrug. Mm, yeah, you do a be saying and the hand, the face, the face, face palm. Mm-hmm. I fuck with that one too. And you fuck with it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with that one too. But um, yeah, dudes, that shit is extra greasy, bro. Like, uh, are you a good kisser? <laughs> like, <laughs> like that What's shit your just tongue? like you just tell me when you can. <laughs> Like, are we in fucking high school? What the fuck are we talking about? Uh, As a grown ass man, like, you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. But don't say Like, that is that. some high school shit. I expect that as a high schooler. Like, you're excited about sex, or you're like, um, do you like to kiss? Like, you, that's when you <laughs> ask those kind of questions. Like, do you like to kiss? Well, do you like the French kiss? You don't be kissing. Not like French that. kiss. <laughs> <laughs> you don't be kissing like that. I be kissing like That's when you try to yeah. goddamn impress her. Like kind of show her that you got them up on game. Like you not a virgin almost. Like you got some kind of experience. Experience. That's the high school shit. You don't yeah. do that shit as no grown ass man. Right. Are you, kiss? Are you like to kiss? I love to kiss. I'm great at kissing. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm great at kissing. How did we even get here? I don't know. Um, Tinder swindler or something like that. But um, what's what's after the movies and shit? Batman. I'm talking about that. Oh, Batman. Um, Batman was cool. The Batman actually is the official name of it, but it was cool. I feel like I I, I want to watch it again. I was kind of busy in the beginning of it. We were doing something while it was on, and then I kind of picked up at a certain point. And was I watching fell asleep <laughs> yeah, for a minute. Asleep. But um, it was cool. I feel like it wasn't better than The Dark Knight, but it probably was the second best Dark Batman. Mm-hmm. I like how it was shot, though. The cinem- cinematography. That, yeah, that, that was the it was nice. <clears throat> I like that. Um, the storyline was pretty all right. I like they brought the Riddler back. We only seen the Riddler before during Jim Carrey, who also went viral during the Chris Rock shit because people were trying to goddamn oh, shit on him. I forgot anybody that said anything, anything against it. It was like immediately shitting on him. Yeah, that shit was ugly. I hate mob culture and group thinking. Because if you thought about it, you you if you thought about it reasonably, you would know that that wasn't a reasonable response. It was better ways he could have handled it and still protected his woman if he felt she needed protecting. But um, yeah, the Batman was cool. The Riddler was straight as a bad guy. Um, the cinematography of the movie was shot very well. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, that's. That's what I, I give it probably like three point five out of out of five. Oh, I thought it would have been higher. I thought you really liked that shit. Nah, uh, I mean I did. No, <laughs> no I'm saying no. Nah, I couldn't be higher because Dark Knight is a four point five. I would say out mm-hmm. of five. Could it be? It could be a perfect five. I could make that a perfect five and make the Batman a perfect four, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, it was cool. And no we did plan. shows, we did movies, and now we got music. Music wise, I know Lotto dropped. Um, that was that like same. That day. was the week of. So we went to New York. We went to New York, yeah. Um, I we listened to it. that joint. It was straight. I think it was like ten songs or something. I liked it better than the last thing that she. I mean, this is her first album, I um, believe. But I liked it better than the last thing that she had put out. I didn't like. So, I mean, I didn't listen to the a project before oh, this okay. project. Yeah, <clears throat> I think this was a good first album for her. You said you don't. What? You said you don't think or you do. Think? No, I do. Oh. I think it was a good. Yeah, it um, was reasonable. She had some good features. It was like four or five songs that I was like, okay, that might get some playtime. So that was like half, half of it, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, the shit with um, she, she had a song with Twenty One, don't she? Yeah, that, that shit really song. Um, it was another one. I think it was one with Nardo with. I didn't. Which song that is one that? isn't my favorite. Which one is not a Wick song? Um, I nah, can't I, what's the one that you be listening to all the time in the shower? <laughs> like a thug. <laughs> that thug in love. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh, but yeah, that one's probably on my there? favorite. Dirt. Okay, Dirt. Yeah, that's yeah. my favorite song. And that then song Sunshine straight. is probably right after that Sunshine one. on me. I'll be riding with that shit. Yeah, that's a good one. No, uh, she had the Wayne feature. That's big right there. Yeah, that was I, a good little feature. I didn't know. I mean, I've been, I've been in um, events with Mulatto because my dad and Reggie, they used to throw them fashion shows and Mulatto used to perform at them shits um, when she was younger. Like, they had, like, performers local artists and shit like that perform at the fashion show so she used to come to that shit to perform but I never really interacted with her cause she was like she like 10 years younger than me or 8 years younger than me some yeah, shit yeah my guess she's so like 22 I was probably like I was probably like 20 at the time 20 somewhere between 20 and 24 so that means she was somewhere between like 12 and 16 <laughs> so <laughs> I wasn't goddamn paying her no mind but I, I fuck with the progression she done made. She got them. She probably she definitely top five 
um, female artists mm-hmm. probably in the, in, in, the, in the music right now at this at this very moment in this last fiscal year yeah I think this is like um, this is um her time right now yeah cause ain't nobody else really doing no nothing Megan Thee Stallion nothing. caught up with Tori Cardi B chilling with her family yeah Nicki Minaj she a vet she the OG she been now. releasing like singles though so I think yeah. Nicki's probably gonna come she out with an album soon probably so um cause she hasn't done nothing since that queen I ain't even listen to that to that project I like that album that was a pretty good album but <clears throat> last year it was Sweetie so I think yeah, this probably. is probably like Mulatto's time it's just Lotto oh yeah I'm sorry it's Lotto just Lotto now <laughs> 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 yeah but um so that's pretty much was that the, all the music that actually dropped I know Pusha T drop I didn't really I listen, listen to Pusha T Donna 2 drop I, I listened listen to it a little no no I didn't I listen like, to you it you could because, have, you don't um, have the damn the thing player. That stem player hard. I want one. I gotta get one. I gotta get one. I gotta is, get it, one. is he still selling that shit? Like I don't know. I know it was bagged up on the ship outs for a while though. So I oh, that's why I ain't been pressed to goddamn go necessarily spend four hundred or three hundred, however much that shit costs. Um but that shit is hard. If you a DJ or you love music and you and you like playing with that kind of shit you produce any kind of shit like that that stem player is the one nigga you could be doing that shit right on the go on the slot on the on, on fly nigga but um eight days what King Kunta oh Kendrick K. Dot Lamar well, it's seven days now it's one oh, oh it's one o'clock um, well, they know it as May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo. It is Cinco de Mayo today. I don't really care, but yeah. Mm. Um, that's pretty much Kendrick is dropping oh, okay. in a week. And that shit should be hard. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, I can't wait. They saying, I know, I've seen a couple of things. It might be a double album. Mm-hmm. Mr. Morale, one side, the Big Steppers, the other side. Might just be one album. We'll find out. I thought he was gonna drop a single. He might. I mean, he still he still got basically a week, so he might. But he might just drop project and mm-hmm. say fuck with me, and I'ma fuck with him quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so quickly, nigga been waiting on that one. But mm-hmm. yeah, that's pretty much it. The crazy thing about today is apparently this nigga got dad Kevin Samuels died right I haven't even checked back on yeah, that, that that news I've been checking it. on it for like the past three or four hours since I've been home and nobody had a, a strong I'm leaning more towards I think it happened though now I think it then, happened I've seen a couple more bigger things people yeah, saying more something bigger people so. saying it. and I've seen people other YouTubers that like I've seen interact with him on YouTube they've confirmed it so yeah that shit fucked up man. that shit crazy that, that shit crazy you just kinda die like that quickly just when just you like got suddenly. down he on the up and up I mean at that age 56 though but he talked about that as well like men got damn more likely to die younger than women so once you get to that 50 age that's when you might start having some complications or at least more complications than you used to have but all I'm gonna say is R.I.P. to the Godfather that's what that's what name got bestowed upon him by the YouTube community so I'm gonna say R.I.P. I fuck with Kevin I didn't agree with this nigga on everything this nigga said but I feel like overall he was just trying to make some progress trying to tell niggas some things uh, dudes and girls he was trying to tell <clears throat> both some things that might be holding you back basically and people of course don't want to hear what might be holding you back because that mean you ain't perfect but that's all he really did to me was say okay you tell me what you want out of life okay you tell me what you're actually doing to get there okay this might be actually holding you back that's literally all he was saying but mm-hmm. people got in their feelings and the feelings really showing now people some people celebrating 
mostly women celebrating this nigga dying. I'm like, that shit crazy, but I don't understand why anybody would celebrate Cause people, somebody dying that's like literally had nothing to do with you. Didn't do, I feel like and celebrating and like laughing about somebody dying is like ugly. A mental illness and like y'all need to get help for that. <laughs> he did, it's like he didn't do anything like malicious towards people. Right, like his opinion didn't like yeah, affect. It was just like, I mean, I guess I wouldn't say it didn't, life. Oh, it didn't affect the day to day life. His opinion could have had an effect, but I feel like it wasn't a negative effect. I feel like people were taking it negative, but if you step back, take your feelings out of it, most of the shit that he was saying was pretty reasonable. Um, it is smarter to, in the grand scheme of things, to be in a committed relationship before you have kids, like. That was one of his main things. But people got down, took offense to it for some reason, maybe because of how he said it, you know, that matters to a lot of people, how you say things and blah, blah, blah. But I'm a fact is the fact kind of person. So it didn't didn't really bother me, especially he used to shit on niggas before he shitted on girls. But like I said, it ain't confirmed yet, but it's looking like, it might be the case. So, if mm-hmm. it is, I'm going to just say R.I.P. Goddamn. Yeah. Hope his family be straight. Right. And goddamn, I hope he practice what he preached about basically having your business handled. So, if he practiced what he preached and had his business handled, that means his family is straight because he was making bread. Right. Like, he was going stupid. So, <clears throat> hopefully all of that all of that is A1 day one and shit it's a new day tomorrow mm-hmm. I guess we gonna see what the news is it's mm-hmm. just crazy how that shit happened like this nigga he just literally came on the scene like people knowing him yeah like this is past in the past year. since the pandemic started basically yeah. two years that was basically when he first got on the scene and he was making heavy traction mm-hmm. but Especially in like the past year. I'll probably find out for sure tomorrow. Might talk about it next Friday. We'll see. But mm-hmm. um, I think that's all for today. He yeah. has some good laughs in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what we got next Tuesday? Um, what I said we was going to do? The inter- entertainment industry? I think so. We might do that. We got a list. Of, we got a list listed out for months so I'm gonna look at the list and see if that's where I wanna go next or if we, that's where we wanna go next I say and uh, we'll we'll figure it out maybe it'll be a surprise but next time on Dragon Ball Z <laughs> alright 